is today? Today is Monday, May 6th. I think I may have caught a little something, a little cold. <clears throat> so, as you saw, got a lot of cool some little treasures, old rusty stuff to me, to Janae, to both of us. These are treasures. <laughs> um, it, it was fun. Uh, yesterday, so we did that, and then it's my son's day off, so I ended up just hanging out with him. Um, we actually played some generals. Um, for those that are my age, um, old school computer games. Not, um, well, not old, old school, but uh, late 90s, I think it was. Um, yeah, going in 2000, I think Command and Conquer had their generals uh, game come out. And, uh, and my son... Um, when he was even little, you know, like kindergarten, I think, age, uh, he was playing that game even with me at that time. And we still have played it um, a few years ago, right before we moved, as we were moving up here, when we had to go down there, and he was helping me bring stuff up. And we'd even play games there while we were staying, and, you know, before we load the trailer and came back up. And we spent a day playing them. We haven't done that, I don't think, in a few years. So that was fun to hang out with my son with doing that. Like the good old days. Um, so anyway, where are we at? Today's May 6th. Yesterday's Cinco de Mayo. Um, the day before, the force was with us as we unloaded for the May 4th. <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah, we're back in here today. I'm excited to get back going, even if I'm not 100%. I'm going to work on trying to get these posts up. I need to paint bolts like ASAP to get those dry. Uh, there was some besides the the lag bolts I need to get painted as well, as well as the four inchers. I did some of the long ones, um, but I didn't think of the four incher ones because I'm going to do the cross beam while it's down and get those into the position it's supposed to be in. So I'm going to get those going and then um, yeah, let's just rock and roll. Let's get this going. All right, got the light bolts painted. I did the last coat on the other light or bolts. Um, that's gonna be for the the poles. That shouldn't take long to dry. It's nice outside, the sun's out. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the dados for these next two poles that I will have to dig holes still for, but these will be ready to go, so that'll be nice. Um, just a note, I for the cross beam for the top. These bolts are good, painted, ready to go. But for this cross one, for the dado that we're doing right here, while I was at Home Depot with my son, I bought four inch bolts to go through because these are going to be flush so it's going to be three and a half inch bolt. I bought four inch bolts but by the time I added two washers, a lock nut, and the, the nut, it's barely enough on there. So I'm going to go for four and a half inch which means I got to take that box back. It means I can't put that cross beam up yet until we're going to get a few more supplies we couldn't fit in the truck we're gonna get that on wednesday when janae's gonna go with me
this one's like perfect. Perfect, perfect. That one's about a, not even an eighth, maybe a sixteenth off. Somewhere in there. Um, really close on this one. Close as the NASCAR race yesterday. Holy smokes, I watched that. There was a rain delay, it was in Kansas. Not a whole lot of action uh, throughout, but toward the end, um, five, or no, number 11 and 17. I don't know, I don't follow NASCAR enough to really remember like who's who, but you know, obviously some of these races, the very ending is always pretty cool. And there was this caution. And when the caution came out, 11 got dragged back. He was in the lead. I think it was Hamlin, I think that's Hamlin. 17 was fighting to catch up to Hamlin. Then there was a caution, got it out, or got all of them out to get, because they were running low on fuel, I guess that was a factor. Um, and then got back in and number five, which I remember is Larson, um, snuck in there and fighting with number 17 with Hamlin getting pulled back. Um, those two were fighting for the finish line with three laps on overtime. And it was so close. They were bumping everything toward the end. And they came through the um, the finish line. And number 17's team, I guess NASCAR thought it was 17 that won. And then they corrected really quick. So 17 teams, like, all enjoy, right? And then a minute later, nope, it was five. It was number five that won. And... <laughs> The attitudes just change, you know. I'm sure they were heartbroken. And then the other team, number five, Larson's team, was uh, happy. But what, what I wanted to mention was, for those that may not watch it, I guess this race, so May 5th, 2024, in the history of NASCAR was the closest finish at .001 second behind is what um, number 17 was 0 0.001 the closest finish in nascar history is what they said on the news today and they were saying that at the after the game too but um the news also published that one as well so in fact i actually took a screenshot so i'll post it right here on what they said so it's pretty cool i mean that's that's history right there all right um yeah, speaking of NASCAR, I've gone to some races, hence um, some of the uh, the headphones, or the headphones, the earmuffs I have, and then I had a radio and stuff. It was fun. It was fun. It's not my thing to follow, follow, but for whatever reason, this year, I've been watching more of them than I have um, in the past, so. All right. So I got these datos cut. Get back to business, right? Got these datos cut. And this is ready to now stain. So those will be ready. I'll do that before I leave. I think right now I just did another coat on the bolts as you saw. I'm going to go ahead and start figuring out the holes where I'm going to pre-drill the half inch holes for these uh, bolts that I got the wrong size for. And then I'm going to start trying to mount this thing. Let's get it done. I'm excited to do it. A little nervous, but I'm excited to do it. Cool. Check this out. Something got off of Amazon. Look at this. So I think I mentioned this maybe in the video before. Um, I came across this, I think an ad I saw on Facebook or something. And this hangs on the string so that you could see if the string is level. Now, of course, you can get the lasers and all that expensive fun stuff. But this hangs on the string if you want to use a string to get something level um, foundation stuff like that right in our case railroad ties when we were doing the track in the earlier episodes the railroad track we were using a level and just kind of holding it up there next to the string how much easier this would have been they sell it on Amazon these are like almost two bucks each the ones that I, well it was a three pack for like four dollars and something so it's less than two dollars each and i got three of them and here's something else that's awesome check this out look at this 
I'm not gonna take it all out because there's a couple screws in there to mount this. But look at this. I think. <coughs> <coughs> oh man, I hope I'm not getting that cough. I feel it. Ugh. Um. You know, like at Home Depot Lowe's, they have the little sizers. Actually, Ace has one too. And where you could go up and check your size of the bolt you need and blah, 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 right? Well, for like, I think this was like 20 bucks on Amazon. There was a couple others, like a $30 one. So, but it, this is the base, the most basic one. I think it was like $18 or something. But how awesome is that? Like if I needed to check something to say, this is the size I'd really need versus taking my bolt into there and you know figuring it out at the store i can know before i go there and it reassures too that i you know may save a couple trips here and there that alone and gas and time is worth it for a quick 20 bucks definitely every shop has got to have one of these and i'm not promoting this by no means um i'm just happy because I never thought to go get one myself, right? So they're out there. They're on Amazon. Um, nut and bolt thread gauge. This one, I don't even know who made this one, but you could kind of see the. So, yeah, <laughs> super cool. And there it is. I just I threw it up with a couple screws, two on top, one on bottom. It actually has these little buffer pads. It probably helps keep it so if you're trying to test her you're not hitting your drywall or something you know if you're sticking that bolt through there so just to have a little bit of a, but i just threw it on this little uh, door frame here for right now because i don't think we'll be doing anything here for a little while got lots to do before then and uh yeah that is that's pretty slick all this time i could have had one for years <laughs> put the base board there the pressure treated that's where the pavers are going to go up to I could set this post on top of it that will help hold it up too um, and then I'll know exactly where um, to go with the pavers and all anyway um, I'm right now I'm going to pre-drill these holes but in doing so I'm trying to uh, loose fit it and or dry fit it I don't know if it's dry fit stain fit because they fit before and now with two coats of stain and possibly from the sunshine the heat maybe it expanded a little bit that they are just barely too tight so there's dado and i tried three of them so far and all three are about an eighth sixteenth to an eighth too tight so i'm just going to do a quick cut on the edge there when it's up there, I can even stain it later and put a double coat on because I don't have the bolts to put the cross beam in anyway. So let's do it.
Oh. oh. I missed. Hit the corner, cracked with a sledgehammer. That's not good. That's right. Everything this can be rustic. Even on this side, it has a little ding in there, which I was probably gonna put in the bag. I got it turned around. I don't know. But it's I like the rustic look. It would be fine as long as I didn't crack the whole thing. All right, I'm back in the commercial. And uh, today is the 7th, I believe. May 7th, Tuesday. Nice weather outside. It's uh, upper 60s, I believe, or about 70. Um, it's going to be 70s all week until Sunday. I think there's like wind and 15% more chance of rain coming up. But we have a busy weekend already anyway. So we're going to be family friends of uh, Janae's daughters. Uh, coming up, having a little party, a little graduation ceremonies for both of them. And it'll be a busy weekend. Today's Tuesday, so tomorrow, Wednesday, we're actually, Janae and I are going to go get more supplies um, and some groceries from Cholo. I am still sick. I'm actually more sick today than I am yesterday. Chest cold, like feel my throat. So it's late. I did some errands in town, but. It's like one o'clock already and I don't know how long I'm gonna last. I'm like tempted just to take the day. Um, but I really wanna get this pony wall done. Um, all the boards are ready to go and I just need to assemble the metal with the poles and that. So I think I'm just gonna focus on that today. Anyway, project, project, project. All right, let's get to work. Work on this pony wall out here. See if I can make it for the next few hours and then go home and get some rest. <laughs> Barely in there, it's just starting. Um, I think maybe I should put it on the floor so I can get it in there better without vibrating.
just gonna let that sit for a minute. No measurement on it. <coughs> um, 31 and three quarters, and this is 31 and a quarter. Thirty and a half. I'm about thirty-one to thirty-one and a quarter or three quarters. So this can come down a little bit more. It's shifting. Let me just let it breathe for a second. I gotta do the base of it first anyway, and then I'll come in and fine tune it. Loose gum in there. I could see it already. This side's slightly longer. So, all right. What do I need? I need tools. 